Well, I think Laura stands as one of Canada's most well-known heroes of our past, certainly pre-Confederation heroes. And, uh, and I think it's deserved. She lived here during the War of 1812. The yard you're in right now and this house behind me were part of a battlefield uh, during the Battle of Queenston Heights. The armies fought right through this uh, village. Uh, General Brock, who was killed in action, his body was hidden away in a house, kitty corner to the Secord's property, and James Secord was badly wounded in the fighting. And that's why, not even a year later, Laura, her husband, uh, and her five children are still uh, in this house uh, when the Americans occupy the, uh, the village. Very proud to be the caretaker of one of Canada's oldest homes, and I love sharing it with our guests. Hi there, my name is Natalie and welcome to our home. This was once Laura Secord's house. This was her second home in the area and uh, today we run it as an Airbnb. We're glad that you're here with us today so I can share a little bit of history with you. This is Laura Secord's tree. There are old photos uh, in the Niagara Falls archives where you see a small, small tree in the front of this house. This tree remains, this is the original tree. We've taken as much care as we possibly could to keep this tree alive so that Laura Secord's memory remains. Laura Secord actually taught school here, um, right beyond these walls. It was the first uh, public school in the area of Upper Canada. So we're glad to share that with our guests. We love sharing the history of the area with our guests. Chippewa is a wonderful little community and we invite you to come and stay with us and be part of history. We love sharing our home and the history of Laura Secord. You can expect to hear lots of local history, a little bit of haunted stories, uh, when you're staying with us. The loft bedroom is a separate entrance, king bedroom, uh, which we are very proud about. And uh, we love having guests from all over the world stay with us. We have so many stories that we love to share and history of uh, the, the area. Most Canadians have heard of this heroine behind me, Laura Secord. Unfortunately, most people associate her with chocolate, but Laura Secord was more than just chocolate. She's a great part of Canadian history. We are on our way up to do the walk that Laura Secord made back in the 1800s to warn the British that the Americans were coming. Did you in your wildest dreams ever imagine walking miles upon miles to warn the British that the Americans were about to attack you. And just think, you did this walking with a cow.